a story. I've got I'm basically kind of made. I, I do uh, have a good rapport with my department, and uh, I'm a shoe for lieutenant. They said my wife talked me out of it because I, I do love my job. I am happy at my job, and she said, "Why why ruin that if we don't need to?" Out is the person who dictates how long today's going to be sits in that chair. The ones that are in here longer, the ones that don't want to talk about things and leave things out, uh, you know, they mess around, all that stuff, and then they're, you know, they're spending a lot more time here than the people that come in, tell the truth, and get the heck out of here. Some people do have a little bit more to talk about, so you know, they are in here a little bit longer, but the ones I'm telling you right now, the ones that are in here longer, the ones that are going to talk about things. So, uh, if I'm here soon, I'm going to meet them. Uh, Alan Grace, if you got to, let me know. What did you Google? What did you research? What did you ask people specifically about polygraph? I have, I, like, I keep on saying this, I don't have any reason why I shouldn't pass. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be as honest as possible. But my friend, uh, he just took his at Worthington. Uh, he's also leaving the department. Like I said, we have a lot of people leaving the department. And uh, the only thing he said was it was fairly easy, and they asked him, you know, fairly easy questions. So, um, no online research, no. or videos, or YouTube videos, not normal things. There are these intentional things that people are being told to do. I've heard of two. I've heard of like tax tax issue issue and all that stuff. Clutching your ass. Yeah. Well, that's why that pads. <laughs> and as you can tell, that's why those pads, those pads are on the floor now. So, um, you really, you're not going to be able to get away with it without this. And then it's, it's not normal. You ever driven without auto insurance? I have. It's been a long time. Why would you have not had auto insurance? Um, before I had a job in the army, there was under my parents. You weren't under your parents' insurance? I, like I said, if I had, uh, I'm sorry to know that I may have been. I think I may have been under my mom's while I was in the army. But as uh, far as you were aware, you had valid insurance. Yes. But you're not sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes, I, I yes. I'm not, I'm not sure if I've, I've always had insurance when I was a kid. But you weren't taking care of it though. Like, Correct. It's because you let your insurance lapse or didn't have any of it because you were under their policy? Correct. Okay. You currently haven't had paid traffic tickets, good parking and camera? No. You ever been involved in any unreported accidents? Mm, yes. How many? One. When was that? I was like 15. What happened there? I, uh, I, uh, was dropping my friend off at the airport and I was coming home and it was raining. I was going way too fast and I ended up hitting a trailer right down the street from my parents' house. Yeah, like, a, like a little, like, it's like a, a, one of those things you pull in the back of a truck that holds a bunch of tree branches and stuff. Control behind trailer? Yes. What did what you do? Uh, it was right down the street and I just went home. You didn't say anything? No. Was there any damage to your car? Yes. But how did that you explain that? I told my parents. You told your parents about it? Mm -hmm. I don't believe the trailer was damaged. Yeah, we're we'll talking to the people that owned it. No. How, like, how bad was the damage to your car? Uh, the front bumper was basically destroyed and the airbags deployed. But you never went, never went down and talked to them? Yeah. Uh, do you have any like, questions about it later? Can I come around and ask Anything else I have a question? I'll report it actually. Have you ever used another person's license plates or illegally used license plates? No. 
which I think about your driving record. I didn't ask you something about that caused you any concern, other than like having a speed ticket or a seatbelt ticket or something like that, or like minor crash. I'm talking about like things that were like significant, like you got pulled out of a car or you know, searched. Yes, I did get pulled out of a car once. For what reason? Um, me and my ex-wife, we were dating at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, we were honestly playing the uh, slug bug game. What does that mean? Like the, uh, you see a, a Volkswagen, and you say, uh, a slug bug red, and you get to hit the person. You ever played that? Heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, she saw one, and she hit me hard, and I, I was in the passenger seat. I said, oh, next time I see one, I'm going to go like this, and I literally hit my hand three times, not knowing that there was a Fort Worth police officer right behind us. And then uh, he yelled at us, then he pulled us over. Then when he pulled us over, he went over to my side and pulled me out of the vehicle aggressively. Um, and I slammed, but basically pushed me onto the, the back of the trunk, uh, started searching me and everything else. And he asked me why I was hitting my girlfriend. And, and I told him honestly that I, I was not hitting my girlfriend. I, we were playing the slug bug game. She's half my size, and, and she told him the same thing. What was that? I was still in the army, cause I had to have been. 2010, 2011. Actually, did he put you in handcuffs or anything? I don't remember if he put me in handcuffs, but he definitely put me in the back of his cruiser. Talk to her or something. Let's just go with no, no issues. Correct. Anything else about driving record or anything? Cause he concern? Social security number than the one you were given? No. Your reviews have been known by another name or alias? I don't have any. Uh, by what? Uh, they're all nicknames from my original name. James Anthony Mata, go by Tony, Anthony. Other than that? Jim. No. Three names? No. You go by that sleepy or not? No. Place of birth that was different listed on your birth certificate? No. You ever altered your name, address, or date of birth to any official document, certificate, or license? No. You ever used an person's license for any reason? No. You ever run a short license for any reason? No. You ever fraudulently obtained any type of public assistance like USC food stamps? No. Is there anything about those questions that missed about them? The only fact. You, you say that, and of course, every little thing, you tell me to tell you every little thing. Uh, my friend, he's my friend, uh, an explorer. Um, you know, are you aware of the explorer program? I know, I mean, I know what they are. Okay, so I'm the commander for the explorer program in my police department. Uh, in my wallet, currently, I have my explorer's dad's expired license, and we use that for training. So I never submitted it to any documents or any anything else, but we use it just to be yeah, able to worry about that. that. Okay. I'm talking about like you're doing your fraud and your fraud your personal gain. No. No. Any else from any of those questions? No. You're suspended, expelled, or placed on academic probation at your school? High school? What? Actually, I think it was middle school. Middle school, I got into a fight. Suspended for a fight? Mm -hmm. How long do you suspend for? Three days, I think. Was there any uh, like serious injuries? No. Uh, 
have any police involvement or anything? No. Did you complete three days and then after that no issues? Correct. Anything else that question? No. Uh, and actually to go back, now that I'm thinking about it, um, this back to the, the car accident thing, I think there was two other times where I never I dinged a car and I didn't report it. What was that? Same thing around high school. Yeah, around high school for both. So what happened? Uh, there was one time whenever I got way too close to a car, and kind of sideswiped it, I definitely left a scratch on it. And then another time whenever I backed into a car. When you sideswiped it, was it like a street, or was it a... Uh... In a parking garage. And then whenever I backed up into another vehicle, it was in a parking lot. Apparently I just had trouble with parked vehicles, now that I'm thinking about it. So you got the image of the vehicles? Yes. Uh, did you ever get caught? No. Did you ever talk to anybody about it? Maybe the owners, or did you just take off? Uh, I talked to friends. But yeah, the owners of cars? No. Unauthorized government property or war souvenirs? No. What military disciplines or reprimands did you receive during your time in the Army? I got smoked a lot. From what? Dumb stuff. Literally, I think the worst thing was, which I was trying to prove a point, um, because everybody else was hiding inside of a building waiting for. Um, I call it whatever you, whatever you, something to flag at the end of the day. Colors? Yeah. There's like an end of day ritual where we, where like, like, people hide inside so they don't have to do it? Right. Okay. Exactly. <clears throat> people were hiding inside and uh, people were in, like, it was like the very end of our shift. Um, I was a military police officer and uh, we were all told to get in the van. And I was like, come on, let's go, we all want to go home. And me and another guy, uh, his name was Fritz, Private Fritz. And uh, he looked up to me, which was aggravating, because I, I failed him, I felt like I failed him. Um, everybody was supposed to get in the van so that way we could load up and, and transport back to the barracks so we can turn in. And uh, I was like, what's taking so long? So they, we were clearly given orders to, to do that and everybody was still waiting at the door so that way we would so that way they didn't have to salute the flag so Fritz was like okay hey let's get out of the, out of the truck so we can salute the flag and I was like no they want to wait inside we're going to wait right here too so instead of getting out of the vehicle and saluting the flag um yeah after the, after everything was over my sergeant comes out and he's screaming at the top of his lungs for us to get the hell out of the van and they just start doing push-ups, sit-ups, sprinting sprints, we had to do an ERB, all kinds of stuff. So you were also, so the, who were all was the, your whole, like all the military police together were hiding? Or? Correct. Correct. Uh, so on Fort Hood, we would have anywhere from 15 to 20 officers. Um, you guys all get off at the same time? Correct. So, some of them were, so majority of them were in the side of the building. Inside the building. And you were sitting in the van, mm -hmm. and then who came, and then a, a sergeant comes out of the building, so you get out of the van and slip the flag? Mm -hmm. So it told me to get out of the van because I, I was wrong for not getting out of the van and slipping the flag, which I thought was being very hypocritical. write-ups, verbal counseling, it's not documented. I mean, no, I, I don't know if it was documented, but they definitely made me write in the ERB, which is... For what? 
for disrespect to the flag. For this incident? Yes. Was it ERB? Is it ERB? I don't know. I forget what that. There's so many acronyms. I forget. I think I got maybe we get the ERB mixed up with something else. Um, but it was basically like an essay. I, I basically had to write an essay. Anything else about your military uh, experience? I didn't ask something about cause you any concern. No. And when was that? Like, wait, uh, here roughly was that? Four hundred. Almost that was two thousand nine. There is uh, one other. I guess you could say two other things. Uh, while I was deployed in two thousand ten. Um, me and a, a few soldiers smoked alcohol, and we drank, and we didn't get caught. Where'd you get the alcohol from? The Iraqis. So we just sneak the alcohol into like into the base? Yeah. Yeah. And we went off base, and uh, were you not supposed to go off base, or were you, were you allowed to go off? Correct. Correct. We, I mean, we were allowed to for mission, but we weren't on mission. deployed at? Iraq. Did you ever get caught? No. For that? How long was the other incident you said? There was two separate incidences where we three times you did that? Mm -hmm. But never caught? Never caught. Anything else? It wasn't illegal at the time. Uh, it wasn't illegal in the civilian side, but in the military it was illegal, which we spoke spice. In there? In Iraq, yeah. Like, where did you get that from? Another soldier, probably. How many times did you think you did that? Once. Deployment you did? Yeah. That same deployment? Yes. Did you ever get caught for that? No. Or test positive, any drug test or anything? No. Did you buy it or what? Was no. It? No, I think it was just given to me. Anything else? No. You ever been involved in any way with any terrorist organization? No. You ever solicited any individual for membership or money to support a terrorist organization? No. You're associated in any way with someone who's a member of a terrorist organization? No. You ever been involved in any way with any terrorist activity? No. You ever been a member, member of any anti American groups unless you're a sovereign citizen? No. Anybody in those questions that did not ask you something about that caused you any concern? No. You find any other law enforcement agencies or just your. One other? Where's that? Uh, that was back in 2000. 18? Or no. Where'd you apply at? Fort Worth PD. And did you get anywhere in the process or just apply? Uh, I. I think I was actually up to this process. I was just about to get the polygraph and background check. And then what happened? I withdrew. Uh, why'd you withdraw? Because I fell in love and decided to stay in Ohio. Police Department? Yes. That's full time, right? Yes. Uh, what's your rank? Patrolman. Patrolman. How long have you been there? Eight years. Are there any jobs you forgot to list on your application where you applied? You could purposely left all off or remember later? Yeah, I mean, I had a bunch of high school jobs before the Army, but. Where at? Um, I have four other jobs. For the army, I one at Taco Bell. And where were all these located at? In Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, so I one at Taco Bell, 
and one at a restaurant called Papacitos. Pa P A P A. Yeah, Papa S, S I T. Oh. O S, I guess. Papacitos. It's, it's a Mexican restaurant. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. I wanted a, at a clothing store. It was it was called Factory Two U, like Factory the number two and then the, the letter U. Okay. And then one at IHOP. Why would you let these off your application? Uh, I was filling the application out with my wife, and she said, "I'm pretty sure they don't want to hear about your high school jobs." I was like, "Okay." Anything negative on why you would have left them off? No. For any reason like that? Uh, actually, yes. Which one? Uh, which one? Uh, uh, the only negative thing I have to say was uh, at Taco Bell, um, I was not. I quit on my own because they were just about to start doing drug tests, and I uh, I had smoked weed. She wanted to test a positive for weed. Correct. Did you give a proper notice? She just quit on quit just randomly. I think I quit. Just just walk in and said you quit. Yeah, I think I quit the day before the drug test. You found out about it and then quit. Yeah. This kind of thing where like you knew it was gonna, like all of a sudden it was like hey it's gonna it's gonna happen in two weeks or so you waited two weeks and quit or you like you heard like hey tomorrow we're drug testing. I think it was I, I don't know how far in advance it was. But it wasn't two weeks. I don't believe it was two weeks. No. Um. So basically, my, the the main the main bad influencer for smoking weed was my brother. I'm not worried about that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> just in general, to the top. Right, of right. Um, sorry, it's in reference to that. But yeah. uh, basically, um, we were told about the drug test ahead of time that it was coming up. And um, I was scheduled to go to visit my brother. And the day of the drug test, uh, my brother said, you're 15, it's a nothing job. Why don't you just quit versus having something on your record? And I said, okay. So that's the only negative one about the high school jobs? Correct. Where'd you work at before you Cyrus PD? I was in the army. So you just discharged in the army. That's why you went to be Cyrus. Uh, I uh, I got out of the army. I was discharged from the army and I moved to Ohio. I then started attending um, fucking college. I guess I had one more job, one last job. Uh, at what? You uh, left off the application. That what? They left off the application. Right, or? right. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it's uh, it was it was a, a a job as a security desk person at the uh, student center, and it was a part time job. Where was that? That was at Hawking College. But uh, I got out of the army, moved to Ohio, started going to a Hawking College, and I was actually collecting unemployment at the time. And then um, I didn't like collecting unemployment, so I got a part time job. To get me through the rest of school. That was part time. No, that was part time. Yeah. So you worked that until you got out with Bucyrus. Right. Oh, well, then you once you graduate, then get in with Bucyrus. Right. Well, uh, no, I, I didn't graduate. I completed like ninety five percent of my, uh, associate's degree. So you don't actually have an associate's degree. No, I, I do have one. It's oh. just I didn't complete it until. I was oh, like three okay. years into the department. Okay. So when did you work that job at that, that, that security? Uh, I want to say 2013. All right. So that, your full first, your last full time job before you Cyrus was in the army. Correct. So how many times have you applied for unemployment in your life? 
once, and that was after the army? Correct. And you applied and collected? Correct. You ever been refused unemployment? No. Did you receive any unclaimed compensation while on unemployment, like you were making money and you weren't claiming you were making it? No, I, I claimed my part-time job, but apparently that still wasn't enough to discontinue my unemployment, so I was still collecting part. But you were claiming you were making money? Yes. Yeah. You ever been fired or asked to quit a job? No. You ever, how many jobs you ever quit without notice other than the Taco Bell job? Mm, the Papacitos job. I think the factory to you job as well. Why would you quit those jobs without notice? The factory to you job, uh, things were were uh, heading down the spiral. What do you mean? Uh, the my friends were quitting, and the manager was getting really uptight, and he said he was basically going to clean house. And I didn't think I was going to be the one, one, one of the people that he, that he kept. Plus, I didn't want the job anymore. So I just basically said I quit. Were you guys causing problems or something? Or? Um, I think there was, like, clicks. I think that, you know, some people got along with some people and others not. Um, and I think that... Uh, we were goofing off a lot because we were a bunch of high school kids. Um, so you felt like he wasn't going to be leave, he wasn't going to keep you, so you quit. Right. And the Papacito's job, I did give my two weeks notice, but I, I did not fulfill the two weeks. Why? <laughs> this was actually my parents. Um, I uh, I was going to fulfill the two weeks because I was just about to start the factory to you job, which paid about 25 cents more an hour. Um, but I, I put in my two weeks because I, I put in for a promotion, which they did not give me. And then my dad told me that he had Cowboys tickets. And uh, I said, Dad, I can't, I'm working. He said, are you quitting that job anyways? And I said, yes. He goes, well then just quit. So you quit because they didn't promote you? I was quitting because they didn't promote me, correct. And then if I, I, I was later told, which I don't know if it was true or not, I was later told that the, the day that I quit was the day that they were going to give me my promotion, even though, I put in, even though I put in my two weeks' notice and I was supposed to start another job. So, I, again, I don't know if that was true or not. Anything else to that question? No. Can you ever intentionally misrepresent anyone's work time, like punch them in, punch them out, kind of cards? No. You ever been disciplined at work for an inappropriate relationship? No. So how many times told you you think you've actually masturbated at work when you're supposed to be working?